formula is not going to be uh, very uh, effective and very um, accurate unless these assumptions are met. So what, what uh, test statistic do we need? Well, what did we use for one population? For one population mean average, we used the t-test statistic, right? We used the t-test statistic uh, from the t-distribution, right, invented by William Gossett. We talked about that before. Um, and we're going to use the t-test statistic again. It's just now we're going to, instead of comparing the sample mean to the population mean in the null hypothesis, we're actually going to compare uh, the two sample means, or you might be comparing the sample difference, the mean, uh, the sample difference to the um, to zero or some other difference that you're trying to test. But if you're comparing the difference to zero, that's a good way to think about that is like comparing the two sample means. So if you remember, sample means are usually x1 bar and x2 bar. Um, so we're kind of, in this case, we're kind of count how many standard errors uh, the sample mean for group one is above or below the sample mean for group two. Again, if the sample mean for group one was above, you're going to get a positive t-test statistic, and negative is going to tell me a, uh, the sample mean for group one is lower than group two. So the formula really looks a lot like the one we did for proportions. You're doing the sample mean for group one minus the sample mean for group two. Sometimes, sometimes you'll see stat books that say minus zero uh, divided by the standard error. So if we go down here, we see x bar one uh, minus x bar two, the sample mean difference. This again is the estimate of the standard error. It's actually the same exact formula we used for two population mean confidence intervals when we did the standard error estimation for those. So the formula actually looks very, very similar, and this is going to be equal to our t-test statistic. So when we look up critical values, we're going to be using the t-distribution, right? So in your sample data, you know, the, a lot of times you'll either have raw quantitative data, or the computer may ask you for this information. In other words, they'd ask you for the sample mean for group one, the sample standard deviation for group one, the sample size of group one, the sample mean for group two, the sample standard deviation for group two, and the sample size of group two. Okay? So a lot of times yeah, that's some information the computer will want if you don't have the raw data. All right? All right, so that's an introduction to two population mean average hypothesis tests. Uh, thanks for being with me, and uh, I will see you next time.